Russia has announced that the Su-75 single-engine stealth fighter jet will be showcased at the Aero India 2025. Indian carrier battle group led by INS Vikram Aditya and INS Vikrant conducted twin carrier fighter operations in the Arabian Sea. The Ministry of External Affairs rejected Reuters' report, claiming that Indian defense exports have been diverted to Ukraine, and have labeled them speculative and misleading. Experts have called to keep a close watch on the US Navy's MQ-25 unmanned carrier-based refueler, and to develop a similar indigenous platform involving private defense sector. The RDO developed Tara Precision Guided Kit is all set for another round of testing, and two Su-30 aircraft are getting modified at Hindustan Aeronautics for the test. India's Artiman Aerospace has developed a groundbreaking loitering munition, which can be deployed from Sunoboy launchers, and offers a coordinated swarm capability for maritime surveillance threat assessment and scalable responses. According to latest media reports, both squadrons of the Tejas fighter jets in the Indian Air Force are grappling with significant maintainability issues. Report indicates that certain components within the Tejas are experiencing recurring problems, and that these are common issues fighter squadrons face the world over. While the specific nature of the reported issues remains unclear, the challenges faced by the Tejas squadrons raise concerns about their operational readiness. Indian defense experts have urged the government to prioritize developing indigenous fighter jets, instead of locally manufacturing foreign aircraft under the MRFA tender. Rafale's transfer of technology won't significantly enhance India's domestic fighter jet production capabilities, and investing $25 billion in Rafale would primarily benefit Dassault Aviation and not Indian companies, and instead modifying the minus fifth generation TED BF platform into an Air Force variant will surpass Rafale's capabilities at a much cheaper price, that could compete with international offerings like the KF-21 Block 1 and the Rafale F-4. The Ministry of Defence has granted the acceptance of necessity for the Indian Army's 1,770 future-ready combat vehicles in three phases, with each phase comprising of 590 units. The Defence Ministry will partner a public sector company and a private sector company to form the development come production partner model. The government will provide funding of up to 90% of the project for design and development and both companies will develop prototypes based on the winning design, and the superior design will be selected for mass production. Interestingly, both participating public and private company will be awarded contracts in 60 is to 40 split ratio. UAE's Edge Group is actively seeking an Indian private sector partner, for the local production of Edge Group's extensive UAV portfolio of over 20 drones catering not only to the Indian market but also for potential exports. Edge Group has expressed particular interest in offering the Reach M fixed-wing male UAV to Indian Defence Forces with local production rights, that is designed for tactical intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions as well as light ground attack operations. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.